Welcome back. In the 1990s, there was a popular rock band called Counting Crows. If our next guest had been in the band, he might have called it Counting Hawks. Keith Deeroff of Niagara Hawk Watch is with us. Keith, already over 4,800 Raptors accounted for since March 1st, is that correct? Actually, we're up to about 12,000 as of the end of April. 12,000? Is, is that normal by this time of the spring? Yeah, we typically get between 10 and 15,000 every spring. So by the time we get to the end of April, we're getting up around the you know, 12,000 12, mark. This all takes place in the Grimsby area, Beamer Conservation Area. Why that particular era, area? What are the unique features of it? Just like with real estate, it's all about location. So you have Lake Ontario and Lake Erie uh, and raptors, they don't like to migrate over large bodies of water. So they will tend to go around the lake. And when they go around the lake, that brings them right over top of Grimsby. So far, turkey vultures are leading the pack. Is that uh, still the case? That's true. It's about two thirds of our birds, about 8,000. When you look at the trends over the years, I know Niagara Hawk Watch has been doing this since 1991, and you have some graphs on your website, and you see some steady climbs in bald eagles, for instance, through the years, but then with some other birds, you see some climbs and then a drop back to levels that we saw in the 1970s. What are some of the reasons for that? Uh, you know, it's, it's difficult to say. Uh, climate change is, is obviously a, a culprit. Uh, habitat loss could be another one. Um, Continent-wide, there's different population trends with raptors, and there's a whole host of people studying it. Um, but the, the reasons are essentially unknown. What is the purpose of this data? How is it used in the future? It's put together with a bunch of data from all over the continent through um, an organization called Hanana. Uh, the Hawk Migration Association of North America, and they do something which is called the Raptor Population uh, indi Indicator, which shows kind of population trends of raptors uh, across the continent uh, and helps them understand what's going on. This count here in Niagara is being done totally by volunteers? That's correct, yeah. Approximately 50 people uh, will volunteer in the spring to, to count or spot. There's one official counter who keeps the record, and there's two helpers called spotters who will help out. Can the public visit the conservation area and see what's going on? Yeah. Uh, we encourage visitors. Uh, for the past couple years, we have discouraged visitors for obvious reasons. Um, but typically, you know, Beamer is open to the public. Uh, we'd love to have you come out. Uh, the hawk migration is, is happening right over top of our heads. Uh, it's um, you know, a spectacle of nature and we'd be happy to have as many and any all, vis and all visitors. Any rare birds spotted this year? Not this year. We typically, you know, we typically get one or two a year, something that uh, unexpected that turns up. Uh, but it's been, it's been a pretty pedestrian spring this year. Uh, nothing rare. Um, some golden eagles, which are always nice to see. Lots of bald eagles, as you mentioned, um, but, but nothing extraordinary. The volunteers are all up on the viewing platform. How close can visitors get to that platform? So uh, outside of the COVID area, the viewing platform is open for everyone. This year, we've restricted it just to the counters. Uh, but next year, we hope to have it fully open uh, for visitors to come up and view the hawks with us uh, on the platform. And this goes on until May 15th? That's correct, yep, from March 1st to May 15th.